Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, tracking a major change in the way the air is going to feel tomorrow. Less humid, cooler, refreshing, very comfortable. Nice day coming up for your Wednesday. Still tracking some thunderstorms, most of them offshore. You can see them on the bottom of your TV set right now. You can see lightning from Block Island off to the south and west storms continue to pull off to the south. Although there are still some showers, though nothing really significant as far as thunder along the Mass Pike. And these will sink off to the south. So we'll keep at least a passing shower overnight. Maybe the rumble of thunder, but nothing real serious. However, uh, earlier this evening, late day, early evening, uh, some very strong storms across East Coastal Massachusetts, especially Boston metro area. All of these icons represent numerous wind damage to either trees or power lines. Flights had to be diverted out of Logan for a while as this complex of powerful storms came through. So again, not all locations seeing them and really most of them concentrated in and around the uh, Boston area. In Providence, we are partly cloudy. It is still a very summery night. Temperatures still in the 80s. In fact, the humidity really about as high as it's gotten all year round. A real feel of summer. The 80 feels more like 84. Winds are west out of seven, uh, seven miles per hour and your humidity at 76%. So overnight through Wednesday and Thursday, our threat tracker low level green as things quieting down. They're getting rid of the heat, the poor air quality uh, and the humidity, even though it's rather muggy right now. But we're tracking a cold front and this is really the leading edge of the dry and refreshing air until the front actually comes through overnight. Still can't rule out a passing shot or a, a non-severe uh, thunderstorm, a rumble of thunder certainly can't be ruled out. And then clearing weather to our north with lower humidity will start to work in. So the front edges out to sea. Now all this dark green represents high dew points, very high humidity. Higher the number, the more moisture in the air. The dew points now very high, upper 60s to low 70s. But watch this and watch the time bar right up in here. Watch this darker area of green sink off to the south. So the humidity pulls to the south, drier, refreshing air coming out of northern New England. So for tomorrow, looking good if you're early living working outdoors. It's a lot easier than it was today. Temperatures are still pleasant. We're not talking raw or chilly, just not as hot. Upper 70s to around 80. Futurecast shows a few showers coming through during the overnight, but most of them are gone and heading offshore uh, by tomorrow morning. So waking up to sunshine tomorrow morning, beautiful start to the day. Temperatures uh, initially in the upper 60s to around 70. And then during the afternoon, around 75 to 80, ultra comfortable blue skies and low humidity, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 78 degrees. In fact, here's a snapshot of what the high temperatures should look like. Not nearly as steamy as it was today, but still pretty nice. In fact, those numbers are, are average for this time of year. Hey, beaches look good, dry and sunny. Air temperature 72. Of course, the water is still cool this time of year. Seven day future cast, not bad for Thursday. Chance of showers on Friday. Right now, I'm thinking Friday evening, Friday night. Scattered showers on Saturday, 75. Partly cloudy, warmer, more humid on Sunday with a high temp at around uh, 82. Noticeable change for the better tomorrow. All right, sounds good. Thanks.